In the 70s, we have clouds, a few showers wrapping up, but mostly our severe weather has finished and any threat has pushed to the east of us. And actually, most of our rain has finished, although some of you still getting rain at this point. It should be dwindling and tapering off this afternoon, and it's still a little bit humid, but we should get not only drier, but cooler feeling air tonight and tomorrow after those showers end this afternoon. So we have a drier evening. Tomorrow looks cool, staying in the 60s through the day, so a different feel for sure with some mornings in the 50s coming up and then we're warmer for the weekend with some spotty rain around, but doesn't look like a washout for the weekend. Live radar is showing the front pushing on to the south and right along and especially just south of the front. We do have a few showers still. You can see that stretching from around Jean Lafitte south to the coast and Grand Isle and Port Fouchon. Couple of light showers around the city of New Orleans and other metro area spots and north of the lake. We haven't seen quite as much but a couple stray sprinkles or a couple of light showers still possible. Rain totals today were up to about a third of an inch south of the lake, about a quarter inch at downtown. And look at Bogalusa, a big storm early this morning brought almost two inches of rain there. Satellite and radar showing the system continuing to press to the east. And look at this, we get this drier, quieter kind of forecast for the next couple of days. Temperatures here are in the lower 70s, but you can see the cooler air is off to our north. It's not going to be a huge drastic cool down. No freeze expected, but we will be much cooler tomorrow, noticeably cooler. Temperatures today staying in the lower 70s, 40% chance for a few of those showers, mainly south of the lake coming to an end though in the next few hours and not very warm compared to those 80s that we've had lately. And tonight, North Shore lows around 52. If you're south of the lake, you can look for lows about 57 sweaters, jackets needed tomorrow morning and the following morning as well. Here we are with Precision Cash showing that drying a forecast for this afternoon and evening. This is by 9 p.m. We're in the 60s and then tomorrow morning, boom, starting off with clouds and 50s. So a very different, almost kind of wintry feel for early tomorrow. We should see clouds breaking up during the day as we get into the 60s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then Thursday morning looks chilly too in the upper 40s to about 50 north of the lake and mainly 50s south of the lake and mainly 60s along the coast to start the day on Thursday. Thursday looks gorgeous, by the way. Look at this sun and 75. That's the classic beautiful day, right? Thursday looking great. Friday, we start to see more clouds. We warm up again and we have a 20% chance for a couple of showers. And then Saturday and Sunday, I brought the rain chance to about 30%, about 20 to 30%. A few spotty showers or storms expected because you can see our temperatures will be going down through the weekend as yet another cool front arrives.